What are manipulators afraid of? Inside the minds of manipulators. Hi everyone. One of the main reasons why manipulators manipulate is that they are afraid of rejection. They are constantly on the lookout for people who have problems, pretending to be nice and empathetic to make them feel better. They may do things that make you feel better, but they are only doing that for themselves. These people often have little courage to do things by themselves, so they are more likely to exploit people who are attached to them. The key to recognizing a manipulator is to know what they are afraid of. A manipulator may make you question your memory. They may make you question everything you do. In addition, they may try to take the spotlight away from you, or you'll be told you are wrong. This means that you need to be hyper vigilant to avoid jarring the manipulator's bubble. If a manipulator is threatening you, be aware that they might also try to get you to take responsibility for your actions. They'll point everything at you, even things that you aren't aware of, so the more you keep note of their behavior, the more you'll be aware when they're about to strike you. A common tactic used by manipulators is projection. It involves a manipulator accusing someone else of their own behavior. They're the type of individuals who don't want to be responsible for anything. They won't face the consequences. That's why they often use others to be their shield. By shifting blame, they place you on the defensive while allowing them to go on with their behavior. In this way, they avoid any accountability and are able to move on with their lives. If you notice they are trying to accuse you of things you are not responsible for, you don't need to explain anything to the manipulator or anyone else. This is a manipulator's intention. The more you become defensive, the more you look guilty to others. The only way to catch a manipulator is to make them stop the manipulation. If you can't stop the abuser from manipulating you, find a way to break free from him. They'll never let you go, and they'll become hostile and abuse you more. They'll be playing weak, powerless, or whatever it is to catch your attention again. This is something the manipulator actually expects, so long as you're still taking a role in this toxic drama, your position will be more vulnerable. However, if you are firm enough and block or limit any contact with them, they'll become very vulnerable. They'll become stressed and even anxious because what they're afraid of is when you're not responding to them. Sure, they might try to find another target at some point, but what they scare the most is when you leave them before they're able to find another victim. This will make them feel miserable, and the most important part is that you can finally break free from the grip of your manipulator. Well, what do you think of this video? I hope this piece of information is helpful to you. Don't hesitate to write your thoughts and experiences in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell to follow our subsequent video updates. Thanks for watching.